Well, we've got a little bit of a light breeze, so we might actually get a sail in here today. Yeah, a nice breeze. We'll see what kind of tack we're on once we get going, but... We're hoping that if it's the right tack, we might be able to get the spinnaker out today. Try uh, it out. We yeah. haven't had it out and flying since it's been repaired, so it'll be a good little day to test her out. Yeah. Short sail over to Danzante. Yeah. 10 miles. 10 miles like or so, yeah. All right. What's going on? Got the spinnaker up. Looks all right at the moment. So good, good heading right now. We've actually got a uh, wing and wing with the spinnaker, spinnaker right? Spinnaker in the main, yeah. And up ahead is a such a distinct, beautiful, very distinct dark blue line. You can see that or not? Drops off from like 40 feet to 200 feet or something like that. Crazy line there, yeah. And the spinnaker is looking all right. There's a little bit of like a kind of a crinkle along one of the seams, but seems to be flying good. Hope it holds. The spinnaker and the main out, wing and wing. Looking good. Making just under four knots. Not bad for a light breeze morning. Nice day though. Really nice day. Very light, very light breeze. Warm. But yeah. great, great tack to try and fly our spinnaker on. It's dead behind us right now, actually. And uh, a yeah. bit of wing and wing, and we're just kind of cruising along, making good time. Yeah. So here's our wind. Looks like we've come up a bit now, about six knots, directly behind us. And uh, here's our speed over ground 3.7. It's not bad. These are the really good sailing days. The wind's behind us. It's calm as spinnaker's up. We're making good time. We're like five knots right now. Time to do stuff below because it's so calm and flat. We're not heeled over like crazy. So Hillary has got muffins baking in the oven and she's working on a ceviche right now. I just gave the cockpit a little bit of a bath and wash down. Now I'm just enjoying the shade and the breeze. This is pretty bloody awesome Salem weather. Really good stuff. been getting so hot lately on the decks even though we have really nice white light decks it gets so hot it burns your feet like crazy so we've been getting buckets of water just to wet it down and cool down the boat a little bit helps it stay a little bit cooler inside too yep keeps our feet cool in the inside it's cooler and inside a little bit cooler these big rocks you see behind me here, uh, this area, this is where we anchored the other day, Los Candeleros. So there's actually the three candlesticks. Candlestick one, two, and then three down this way. Uh, it's actually a pretty dangerous area with, there's a lot of reefs that come up pretty shallow around here. And the charting is iffy and questionable. Uh, I mean, depending on what charts you've got. So that's where a combination of charts actually comes in handy. Our GPS waypoints is about a half, one and a half miles different from what it shows in Navionics and about a half a mile, three quarters of a mile different from what it is on our CM93 charts. So three different uh, points of view there on, on what you're going to go for. Uh, what we do rely on a lot more is probably like the Google Earth or the, uh, uh, the Russian satellite uh, overviews which actually give you a pretty good view of the landmass itself and the shallow areas and sometimes some of the reefs uh, but really in the end of the day it's what you can see in front of you so we're just going to watch out as we go through here and uh, keep an eye on our depth sounder this is isla las tijeras back there or scissor island 
Mm, that's the middle one, right? Yeah, that's the middle of the candeleros, candlesticks. So what we hear is that you, it's safe to pass between... The second and third, or in the third and the Baja, but not between the first and the... Not that. Primera. As we approached a cove on the west side of Isla Don Zante, we had consistent wind, and instead of starting up the motor, slowly tacked our way into the anchorage and dropped anchor under sail. Alright, Isla Don Zante. The next day, it was very hot and muggy, so we jumped in the water to cool down and explore. We have found that the only way to stay cool here in the summer is to spend a lot of time in the water. And luckily, there is so much to see and explore beneath the surface. Like Isla Montserrat that we had just visited, the waters off this island are protected as well from commercial fishing. Here, we found lots of triggerfish that seemed to swim in schools instead of the solitary individuals that we had become accustomed to seeing. Even on the sandy bottom away from the reef, we found lots of life, including stingrays and lots of porcupine fish. The following morning, we woke to a perfectly still day, with crystal clear, glass-like water giving us a perfect view of the bottom from above. Back on the boat, there was work to be done. We're gonna give uh bit of a winch service today so this primary winch is making a really loud sound the other day so it's uh, due for a service I'm gonna try and pull it apart so we'll clean it with some denatured alcohol clean up all the parts and then we'll re-grease it just a light grease on it and put it back together see how we go the hard time hard part last time was getting it all apart uh, but now I've got a breaker bar so we'll add a bit of heat Fingers crossed, it uh, comes open pretty easy. Hillary's out snorkeling, beautiful and clear out. Let's get to it. We had serviced our main starboard winch several months ago after it seized up on us. 
but we hadn't gotten around to servicing the one on the other side. But after hearing some awful noises from it recently, we decided it was time to open it up and give it a clean. The only problem was that it was proving to be extremely challenging to open up. Ty spent hours working on trying to open the winch. After letting it soak overnight with penetrating oil, putting heat on it, and even using a breaker bar, all which proved to be unsuccessful. Underwater, I explored the other side of the cove. On this side, I found lots of rays, including a pygmy devil ray, the large diamond stingray, and a pretty Cortez round stingray. While underwater, we always like to take a look at our anchor to make sure it is dug in and set well. Time to leave. It's nice, beautiful water and head into Puerto Escondido so we can get some water to drink. I'm pretty sure it's going to be warm in there. It's supposed to be really warm no and wind still for the in next, there. No wind for the next like week. There's a little bit of a breeze right now. The last couple of days though, there's been some serious clouds and we heard some extra thunder and saw rain probably a couple of miles off last night. Let's and you made a out. discovery. Last night. In our oatmeal. There are bugs in there. A lot of them. A lot of them. So we've heard they can, a lot of times their eggs are like laid in the grain and then when it sits for long enough, they hatch. One way we did here to fix this, which we didn't do, we should have, is if you bake your oats or flour or whatever grain you get, when you get it, put it on a baking tray in the oven and bake it for a little bit. It will kill the eggs and larva. So they'll still be in there. They won't hurt you though. They won't hatch. So are these weevils or we're not sure? I don't know what a weavil is. That's what I would they guess. They look like weevils. It looks like they had wings on them or something. I have no idea what they are. They're mm. some kind of bug that hatched in our oatmeal. No chance of them getting free on the boat. We are doing wing and wing with the spinnaker and the main. We have one to three knots of wind and we are doing four knots. It's not bad. It's Friday night. We're heading into Puerto Escondido. Yeah. And we're stubborn. We had the short trip across from Danzante. Three and a half miles, I think. <laughs> we thought we'd raise the spinnaker because it's always <laughs> nice to go to all that work and then now we basically need to bring it down. Yeah, and we have to hand sear because the wind's swinging around and it's a very precarious balance here. That's our view on the land of Puerto Escondido. That's the entrance to Escondido. Hillary's doing a good job. We just jived the main over, bringing us into Escondido. Headed into Escondido. Huge thanks to all of you for watching, as well as to all of our patrons who support the making of these videos. Until next time, adios.